Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and I'm a naturopath and a teacher and I'm here to show you how to live your happiest and healthiest life. I'm so glad you joined me here today because today I am talking about my favorite topic, the ketogenic diet. I've been on the ketogenic diet since October last year, so that's uh, just over a, a year and two months and um, I've had really great results with it. So I'd love to share some of the basics with you here today and then tell you a little bit more in future videos. To give you a bit of background, I'm 46 years old and I have Hashimoto's. That means I have an underactive thyroid which makes losing weight really, really difficult. Um, I've tried many ways to lose weight but nothing really worked until I tried the ketogenic diet. Uh, in no time I lost 5 kilos and I've continued to lose the weight. Um, keto is not just a diet, it is a lifestyle, it's a way of eating. Um, most people talk about weight loss as eating less and exercising more but not many are successful at that, especially over the long term. I know I tried it and I'd lose a couple of kilos until I felt so restricted and so low on energy um, that I went back to my usual way of eating and I gained back the weight um, and hardly seemed worth the effort. So what is the ketogenic diet and what is ketosis? The ketogenic diet is a way of having your body use fat source for fuel. Um, when you burn fat, you break down the fat into these things called ketones and your body can use ketones for fuel. Uh, it is a much better fuel source than sugar, which is what most people run on. Um, healthy keto is what you need to aim for and I'll talk about what food is involved in healthy keto in another video. Um, intermittent fasting goes hand in hand with keto and losing weight and I'll also talk about this in another video. Um, intermittent fasting is a way of eating less frequently to reduce the number of times that your insulin is raised. The idea of intermittent fasting is not to reduce calories, only insulin. So what is the connection between insulin and weight gain? When you consume too many carbohydrates, the insulin comes in and it converts it to fat. So a lot of the fat on your body has come from carbohydrates and not fat. Also, in the presence of insulin, you cannot lose fat. So if you're finding it hard to lose weight, you know you have a problem with too much insulin. So now you may be wondering, what are the symptoms of too much insulin? Well, uh, moodiness, um, depression, belly fat, high blood pressure, uh, high cholesterol, fatigue, cravings, especially for sugar, uh, brain fog, lack of focus, um, poor memory, irritability, uh, always hungry, even if you've just eaten. Um, getting your body into fat burning or ketosis will reduce those symptoms. So how do we lose weight with keto? Well, hormones control fat, the burning of fat and the storage of fat. And fat burning requires the enzyme called hormone sensitive lipase. And this hormone is triggered by the decreasing of insulin. So anytime insulin decreases, this enzyme is triggered and you burn fat. Some of the best ways to decrease insulin is don't go on a low fat diet because consuming fat is the only food that doesn't trigger insulin. Also, don't snack, not even healthy snacks, because every time you eat, you trigger insulin. Also, don't eat grains because they turn into sugar fast. In fact, avoid, avoid all carbs other than leafy salad greens. This is completely different to what we've been told about weight loss. In my opinion, healthy keto and intermittent fasting is the best way to lose weight. So what makes up the keto diet? A keto diet is made up of 15 to 30% of calories from protein, 5 to 10% of calories from carbohydrates, and 60 to 75% of calories from fat. That means your plate would roughly be half veggies, a quarter protein, and a quarter fat. Just remember that one gram of fat is more than twice that of carbs and protein. So that is how the plate is made up. As always, if you have any questions about anything, just write them in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe so I can keep you updated on future videos.